you guys and a welcome back to my channel so today I have a Dollar Tree haul but I want to show you guys something really quick why I haven't been vlogging I know I was gonna I told you guys I was gonna have those bangers back to back but oh my gosh you guys long story I'm gonna make it short I fell I popped my ankle in two places but thank God thank God so much prayer so much love thank God for answering my prayers um i wound up having a sprung ankle and so with the results of that i am in a boot <laughs> so you guys i was basically i don't know what happened i just know that i turned around to lock the door i was going to do some neighborly work and help um my mom's friend across the way um, garden because uh, she's ready to start gardening and stuff like that so we were going to go make her like a plant bed my mom loves to garden a lot so I said I wanted to do it because you know my son just started back to school he's in the first grade and I'm just trying to figure out you know what am I supposed to do without my son because I did homeschool him when he was in kindergarten so he was with me all the time and um, you know until I started like just going to work and stuff like that but when I'm off or whatever when I was off or whatever it was just like me and him you know we can conquer the world we can be powerful together <laughs> but now he's in school and he's in the first grade it's just like I'm totally lost I'm emotional wreck and I just feel like maybe my emotions got the best of me and God's trying to pretty much tell me hey Andrea stop stop moving so much stop going sit down and rest and I wasn't listening and Yes, y'all. God pushed me down. Sometimes you have to do that for us to listen, you know. Um, but anyways, yeah, your girl's in the boot. But I, every day I'm trying to take it easy. Um, yesterday was like the fall. And today is like my first day with the boot on. Um, I can take it off when I, whenever I shower or go to sleep. But I have to put it right back on. And I'm, you guys, y'all might think I'm crazy. But I am so ready to get back to work. I've been off. I took off. Um, for vacation for my son when he first started back to school just make sure everything was okay he loved it he was not going to run out of the school and I just put my <clears throat> all my my love and and my praise into God and just pray every day that you know he's continued to grow and grow and love his school and yesterday he told me actually when we was at the doctor in the emergency room he told me that he loves school so I was so thankful and blessed, and, and I just thank God the whole time when I was in the hospital, and I was praying, too, that all I had was a spring, and nothing was broke, and God just blessed me, and he's just trying to tell me, I wanted you to stop. I wanted you to stop going. I wanted you to sit down and rest. That's what I want you to do. He's at school. He's okay. I got him, and, you know, every morning I tell him to cover his blood over my son because... You know, things in things in Texas, Dallas, you know, is has gotten worse and I just, you know, it's just muddly, you know, thinking. But um I just want him to be blessed and all that good stuff. So I'm not gonna let this boot on my leg stop me from doing my hauls for you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got, but I'm gonna put you guys down. I hope you guys can see me good enough. Let me straighten up these girls because they trying to pop out okay um so i went to dollar tree i got like three bags of things so let's get through this together i saw this this is in like the refrigerator section and i saw this lipton tea is iced tea berry with a splash of juice um so i got that because i thought that would taste really good and i'm gonna not drink all this because the sugar in this is totally ridiculous it's like 200 I mean it's like 25 grams of sugar and 220 milligrams of soda so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink a little I'm just going to drink a half of it and dilute it with water and then if my son wants some when he comes in then I'll give him some and dilute it with water as well um just to kind of get that sugar you know flowing going gone <laughs> um and speaking of sugar, I love when Dollar Tree have great books. When they have like good books I can sit back and read or they have good books that tell me about like, because I'm type 2 diabetes and 
um, which was good because when I went to the hospital, they said my sugar was really good. I've been reading a whole lot of um, Ian, uh, Ian Smith books um, for like weight loss and just changing up my whole like weight loss lifestyle because your girl, I lost about three pounds so i am 227 pounds 27 no 326 pounds point eight um because of i've been sick and stuff like that you guys didn't know that i didn't share it with you guys and i'm really i apologize for that but um i just been going through a lot you know this last past week um in the week before that just going through a lot and so I just sit back and read his books and stuff and he just kind of show you like how you could be more um more energetic and more you can uplift yourself uplift your spirit more um by getting out and just taking a walk instead of just being in the house all the time so that's why i love going to dollar tree and looking in their books section first i've made that a like go-to for me because usually it's like all the decor stuff but i know now I go to like the books and stuff because people don't like i don't think people read a lot no more um we just go to our tablets and stuff i love a good old um hard book um book that i can just sit back and read and just get some type of knowledge on you know different you know weight loss lifestyles i can go through so mr ian smith um he's a doctor and he was on the show i think it's called doctors um and then i didn't see him no more um i don't know what happened but i didn't see him anymore i don't know if this lines in those in the um in the screen but um i found this book today which is the ian smith um blast the sugar out and this book retails at 36.99 36 dollars and 99 cents almost 40 freaking dollars like with the tax added it probably will be 36 um 40 some dollars but um, I got this because he's just basically uh, putting you on a, a, a seven week uh, weight loss, um, like sugar detox weight loss, you know, uh, journey or whatever. And I was just sitting back reading it before I got out here and I was just like, yeah, I should do this because it looks fun. And at the end, he has like, he used to be like kind of chunky, but he started doing a lot of this stuff. Like he... I guess you could say you practice what you preach because he is basically dropping it all. Like, he looks really, really good. If you guys ever heard of Dr. Ian, let me know in the comments below. And also drop a heart down there if you made it this far because I want to know, you know, I want to see those hearts because I've been having a really, like, rough week and, and it's been going crazy. So whenever I see you guys' heart, it's just like, I feel so much better. I feel so good. Um, and it definitely makes my day. Um, so yeah, I love to see you guys hearts at the bottom of the screen and also go to my other channel if you want to and just look at some of those videos over. I haven't got over there yet because I cannot really do anything because of my feet, but that is Andrea Michelle's cleaning lifestyle. Again, Andrea's cleaning, uh, Andrea Michelle's cleaning lifestyle. Um, and I probably just put it somewhere on the screen, but, um, yeah, it's just basically just. You're lowering your blood sugar, you're losing weight, and you're basically living better and you're feeling better about um, who you are becoming, you know. Um, so I love that I can find books like that and just get me like more motivated and stuff like that. So let's get to the next bag. Um, this is more of like fallish stuff. Well, everything I can I think is fallish all this stuff oh i have one thing that's for like um i got the berlero and this is um the blueberry blitz plant-based soap that they have and i wanted to go ahead and try it i've been really skeptical on bolero products until i researched it and it is a very expensive product and you barely can find it anywhere it smells really good. It doesn't have like a like a strong smell to it, but this is what it looks like. It's really huge. It is really huge. So you get what you pay for, um, and you get a little bit more with these soaps because they're really huge. So if you have a local Dollar Tree, I would. This smells like kind of like baby powder, but um, <laughs> um, if you have a Dollar Tree near you, definitely go and check them out. I have limited myself to going to check out the um, Dollar Tree. Um, I 
now go like maybe two times out of the month. Um, because I used to have like this bad addiction to Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store only. And I can tell you guys now that I have not been to the 99 cent only stores in two months now. Because every time I go into there, the, it's messy. It's nasty. The, um... The customer service from the employees are just like just it it makes you mad it bothers you and i don't have time for all that and then also they don't restock their um shelves or anything like that so that's why i stopped going in there but the dollar tree i will definitely go in two times out the month this is my second time being in there because i did buy a whole bunch of fall stuff before and so this is my second time so i won't go back until next um like in september what's this august yes yeah, september so yeah um i did find some little nice um stuff that me and my son can do um when he is on a little break from school um when they have their little break for like thanksgiving and then um i think they're gonna have a break uh, coming up i think and so i think it's like um presidents that i don't know <laughs> That it's a it's a little break that they're gonna have coming up in September, and he's gonna be out of school. So I want to have some stuff that we can do while he's out of school, so I can start decorating the house and the fall like the fall stuff. But this is more Thanksgiving, so um, I bought this little craft for him to do. I think I bought one last year, but we never did get a chance to get to it. But this year we're gonna be doing this, and so it has like the little um the little things you can make with your little um. Your little foam craft kit or whatever so i think it's cool i think it's nice and whenever he's done with it we'll um just put it on the table or we'll hang it up and then after it i'll have like a little box with his name on it um for different seasons um so whenever i miss my baby i can go into the box and pull this out and just be like well, yeah me and my baby because you know at some point he's gonna get big our kids are gonna get big and we are gonna get like so lonely like <laughs> um but yeah i bought this little lighter here it's um you can do it for barbecue fireplaces candles and camping you can take this along i do recommend all parents um to put this like in top cabinets in your kitchen so that they won't get a hold to these i know that they have like a little lock thing there but you s kids are smart these days so um just Make sure you hide them somewhere. <laughs> and then I got some more uh, crafty things. Uh, it's called Crafters Square. That's what they're called. Crafters Square for the kids. And so I got another one. These are new at the Dollar Tree. So this is like a four count painting set. So it includes one coloring panel, one paint brush, four paint colors, one, e one easel. So, yeah, we're going to have so much fun. It's like the little truck with the pumpkins in the back. I love pumpkins, and I cannot wait to grab some from the store. And then I got another Crafter Square painting set. Same thing. One coloring panel, one paintbrush, four paint colors, and one easel. And this is the one with the little square crow. So, he's going to be really busy um, when it comes down to Thanksgiving. And I'm probably going to use this for fall, this one. And then we're going to use this one more for Thanksgiving. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, I have one of these wealth hangers. I wanted to go ahead and make my own wealth, you guys. But I just don't have the patience to make it. So I'll probably just buy a wealth. Or I may I may DIY a wealth like I did the year before. I DIY a wealth and put it outside my door. Just something simple. Um, nothing big and extravagant. Because I do stay in a condo. And I'm actually facing another um, condo. So anyone from the outside would not see my wealth if I was to do that. So that's why I keep it so simple. Um, because um, only the people that are invited into my home will see the wealth. Um, and then also Dollar Tree have like farmhouse stuff, really, like I've never seen before. They had like a pumpkin one that was farm fresh. I didn't get that one, um, but I did get the farm fresh locally grown produce, 100% organic. And I like this sign. This is so freaking cute to put in the kitchen or you can put it, you know, 
wherever you feel like you want to put it but I am going to mostly put this in the kitchen because that's where I have most of my farmhouse stuff at and then um, my living room I want to do farmhouse but I'm going to keep it simple um, so yeah my kitchen is mostly farmhouse so I'm going to just leave it that way um, on to the next bag which would be the third bag I got some candles I got some candle melts um, I got the Lumen Essence Sweet Harvest Fig, and it's a six-piece scented wax melt. So I got two of those. This one is the Sweet Harvest uh, Fig, and this one is the Crackling Fire. Both of them by Lumen Essence and six in a pack. Um, I'm going to be doing like a little DIY for upstairs and downstairs, but I'm still in the process of decluttering my house. And I hopefully before things, um, before um, fall hits, I'll definitely have everything decluttered and um, boxed up and ready to go to charity, uh, not charity, but donations and stuff like that. Mom was going to have like a uh, end of the summer um like yard sale but I think we should just go ahead and donate stuff I know that we can make money off of this stuff but um it's just the area my mom stays kind of uppity so I don't think that they would like for her to have a um you know garage sale because I, we really don't see garage sales on the street so I was thinking like even if you guys have any ideas of where we could uh have our like little summer garage sale or if should we go like door to door and ask people should we have like a neighborhood um you know at the end of the year um summer garage sale would that would that possibly work i don't know but um if not we'll just donate it all to the local um church that we stay by or we'll donate to the local thrift store that we stay by so yeah i just have i have me personally i have a lot of stuff that i would rather give away because um i just don't like to see people like um because one year my mom had a thrift a uh, thrift end of the year summer thrift uh sale and people were stealing like literally stealing stuff so i don't have time for the unnecessary drama of you know odds and ends you know and treasures but um yeah if you guys are decluttering and stuff like that make sure you donate the stuff if it's you know salvageable donate it if it's not then get rid of it you know um because there's people out there that really, really, really need or somebody maybe starting, you know, you know, getting an apartment on their own and don't have and go to the thrift store and blase, blase, you know. So let's get back into this. OK, so, yeah, I got these and they smell so they smell really good. I do want to advise you guys to get ones that smell. Sometimes when you buy candles from Dollar Tree, they do not have like a strong scent. I am looking for that strong scent. I want that strong scent in my house. You know, I want to be able to walk in and smell the goodness of Dollar Tree, you know, candle mess. I bought some that were just so awful, like just awful. But those, they're strong, okay? I did also buy some more farmhouse stuff. This is, um, it says in the front, home made on the glass jar. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I bought two of these little small ones. I'm going to put one upstairs in my bathroom, and then I'm going to put one in the kitchen. Um, and then I'm going to fill them with some stuff, and then, um... Maybe we can do this DIY together. I'm not sure. If you go check out my other channel, I'll have all that over there. This is just my main channel. I'm just going to be doing hauls here um, because I know what you guys like. And I found these new candles that they have here, which I thought was really cool. And they're really, they, they smell so good. Like, they do smell so good. Like, oh my gosh. Um, let me put this back in there. But this is called Everything Home, the Candle Collection. I don't know if you guys can see that, but everything home candle collection. And these are more for fall as well. If you can see all the leaves, let me just turn these around so you guys can see it. But they have like all the leaves and the um, flowers. And it just says cozy vibes. 
happy heart and this is so freaking cute so you can either put it like this where it shows what it says or you can definitely turn it around and just have it like that i'm definitely going to put one upstairs and then i'm going to put one downstairs you can put these i'm thinking you can put these inside or you can just put them on top just to make it look really nice but yeah guys these are the this is the end of the vlog and these are the last two things that i have from dollar tree um, you guys pray for me and I'll always pray for you guys too as well. And if nobody told you that they love you today, guess what? I love you. Me and my sole ankle, my sprung ankle in a boot, we love you, okay? And thank you guys so much for watching our channel. I'll definitely see you guys later. I hope that I can get my foot healed by next week's, which I know I won't. So I can do some cleaning in my house or maybe I could just take my time and clean y'all think i can do that but anyways don't forget to leave me a big heart in the uh, comment section below just to let me know you made it this far and i just love all you guys good energy like i feed off of it i i really do whenever you leave me a heart below like it makes my day i just you know but anyways you guys i'll see you guys later and have a blessed day. Bye.